Good morning, stampers and crafters. I'm Tina from Tina's Crafty Ink Spot. It's been a while since I've done a video. And let me turn on some light here. There we go. That might light up our area a little bit better. I'm coming today, not only for the blog hop, but I have a new technique for you. And you know, I, I'm happy to be back in the craft room. Still a little bit, um, a few little issues still with my hands since surgery, but you know what, we're going to try to do this. And I apologize for the glove, but it, it helps me use my hand. Um, I added a little washi tape there instead of <laughs> medical tape for you, just for humor. But anyway... What we're going to do today, let's jump in. We're going to do another form of a stained glass. Now, I saw this technique, um, I'm going to say, over a year ago. And uh, I apologize that I don't remember who I saw do the video. If I find it, I will tag them in this and give them credit for it. Because it's fun, it's easy, and it's really neat. And I think you're going to like it. You can use it for any. Now today's blog hop is fall and, fall and Halloween. So I did a little bit of everything. And we're going to create this background. This stained glass background. Okay. And you can just. It, there, the options are unlimited. What you can do with this. You can do different colors. You can do solid colors. Two colors. Um. You can also create the technique and die cut it or, um, you know, uh, just stamp on them. But I really liked this one. I would think if you had um, the gathered together set, this technique would look great for fall leaves. Um, something about stained glass and, and fall leaves just really makes it for me. But... I couldn't find my Gather Together set, so I had to order another one. So I just used the, um, what is this set called? This is the uh, Sunflower set and created that. So I've created these, but we're going to create a new one together today. I had an idea when I woke up this morning. I thought, you know what? I'll just do a video and we'll learn the technique together and do it together. So let's get started. And we're just going to jump right in. And what you will need, you will need regular kitchen aluminum foil. Um, mine is just regular Reynolds wrap, and it's, you know, regular. Uh, you could use a, the thick or the thin. It really doesn't matter. So you need a piece of aluminum foil. You also need window sheet. Now, this window sheet, I have cut the size that I want to use on my card. So I've done four by five and a quarter and um, make sure your foil is just a little bit larger because we're going to be crumpling this so it's it's going to you know make it a little bit smaller so a piece of foil a little bit larger than your your window sheet you can always trim it off so so don't worry about that you're also going to need some stamp and blends markers or alcohol markers um, I find that these color well on both window sheet and foil dry right away. They're easy to use. Um, I assume you could probably use regular markers on here. To be honest, I didn't try it. But so for today, we'll be using our Stampin' Blends. You also need stays on. Um, stays on will stamp on window sheet without smearing okay um, and that's what I did here is I stamped right on my window sheet with the stays on um, a trick for you if you're going to be using stays on and photopolymer stamps the clear stamps bring out your Versamark because if you condition the stamp with your Versamark before you use the stays on your stamp will clean easier. You cannot use um, stays on remover on a photopolymer. You can use it on the red rubber, but it could damage your photopolymer. So if you just use Versamark before you use the stays on, if you're using a photopolymer stamp, it will help protect that stamp and also make it 
uh, easier to clean. So that's just a little tips and tricks. So what I want to do is we're just going to jump in. And what I've done is I have a uh, mask that I've cut a, a circle. Um, you can use a post-it note or whatever. What I use, because I do so much sponging and masking, and I'll give you a little tip on it, is I buy Avery um, removable labels. And you can get them in 8.5 by 11 sheets. So you're, you know, you have 25 sheets of 8.5 by 11. This is going to last you a long time. And it works just a little bit easier than a post-it note that sometimes can move. So just as a heads up, this is just some Avery post-it note, uh, I call it, removable stuff. So what I want to do is we're going to create a card that um, I wanted to use the um, cat punch. And I want the cat to be sitting with the moon. So I've cut out about a, I'm going to say this is probably a two inch circle. Um, it's from the uh, layered circle dies. <clears throat> so what I want to do is now get the get the um, stuff off here. Oh, all right. I guess I should have redone that. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get this off here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to peel the backing off that. And I'm going to put this directly on the back side of the window sheet, okay? So I'm going to want my moon probably... I'm just going to do it in the middle here. So we're on the back side of the window sheet. Now there's two ways you can do this. Three, actually. You can either color directly onto your foil with your blends, or you can color directly onto your window sheet, or you can do both and get a little bit more uh, depth and texture. So what I'm going to do is I know that my moon, probably about where I'm going to set this, is going to be kind of toward the middle of my foil there. And I want my moon to just kind of be white with uh, maybe a little bit of blue accent. So I'm just going to kind of mark this a little bit about where I want my moon. So I'll just put a little line there. See there? That's all I'm going to do. And that's just going to kind of tell me where my moon's going to be. Because I don't want to put too much color there. So it'll stay white. So now I'm just going to take, and what I'm using here, and I'll have all the supplies listed on the blog post that I used for all of these cards. I will put all of these cards on the post and all the supplies I used. This is my light night of navy. And I'm just going to color my foil. Remember, my moon's about right there. So I'm just going to color just kind of randomly. And now this isn't going to hurt your marker. And you see it's kind of light. That's a dark navy. I'm going to do a couple little swipes of the blue where my moon's going to be. And now you can either do this directly as it is here where you'll be putting this and you'll see how light that's going to be. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to add a few more dark toward the top. I kind of want this to be a night sky. Okay, so we're just going to do some random streaking here. Now, I'm going directly over the other ink. It is not going to hurt your marker. If you have mixed colors, it's not going to hurt your marker. All you have to do when you're done is simply wipe off the tip like that and your marker goes right back whether or not you go over orange or anything else. So it's not going to hurt your marker. So I'm just going to add some dark highlights in here. And I'm trying to go all the way to the edge because we're going to be crumpling up this foil and um, it's going to shrink it. So we're just going to add a few dark highlights in there. And then... I want, now I'm on the side where the sticky is. 
I want my the top of my sky to be darker than the lower part of my sky. So all I'm going to do now, did I get that on the wrong side? No, is I'm going to take the same marker and I'm going to color right on the window sheet. Okay, I'm just going to add some dark accents in there. Go right over my masking there. And that's just going to give us a couple different colors. Maybe I'll darken it up a little bit down here at the bottom. We're creating this together, so I'm just kind of making this up as we go. I'm going to add a few of the lighter accents on the same side. And all this is going to do is deepen the color once you attach the window sheet. And since I used the lighter marker over where the dark was, I'm just going to wipe the tip off. Just like that. And it's all better. Okay. So now you can kind of take a look at what it's going to look like. So we're going to have kind of a night sky going on there. So let me, I can see where my circle shows. So I'm going to go right over that there a little bit. could even add some yellow in there if you wanted a, a yellow type of moon. But I'm going to kind of leave it white. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your foil and you're just going to crumple it up. And you kind of got to be careful unfolding it, not to tear it. So, oops. I might have tore it. I should have tried to crumple a little bit differently, but there we go. Here we go. Here it goes. That's okay. It looks like I have a little tear there, but I think I might be okay. So we're just going to smooth that out. I did get a little tear, but I might be able to save that. unfold it and I think my image might be covering that part anyway so that might be okay so just be careful if you have the thicker foil um, you know you have that real thick foil it might work a little bit easier so that you don't tear okay so we want to make sure that our window sheets gonna fit on there Yep, it is. But I can see already there's some areas where my window sheet's going to be. So I'm just going to add some of my blue in there. So you guys are learning right along with me, see? We're just going to make our mistakes as we go. and Just to make sure all my areas are covered. I do have a little tear there, but I think I'm going to be able to save that. Okay, so now, well, oh, I forgot to tell you what else you need is you need your double-sided adhesive sheets. Where is mine? What did I do with it? It is here. What you need are these. Their adhesive sheets. And I thought I had already cut a piece. Let me find where I put it here. There we go. So all I did is cut one the size I need. Okay. So we're going to make sure this is all going to fit our window sheet. Okay. Looks like I'm going to add a little bit more right there. Oops. I would use the feather side of your marker. 
need the darker one. Okay. So now let's make sure this is dark enough. When we lay our window sheet down, see how it darkens it there? Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to add just a few more highlights right on here. And this only takes a few minutes or a few seconds to dry the alcohol markers. Okay, so now we're going to take our adhesive sheet and I do mine directly onto the foil. So when you remove these, your adhesive's on this. So we're going to flip it over and we're going to cover our foil. So let's make sure it's pressed down well. Take the this the, these adhesive sheets come in sections. So we're going to peel off the next section. I'm just going to lay it right along it, right along next to. Oops, kind of hard to do a little bit one-handed. So there we go. We're going to lay that one there. We got one more. There we go. Now let's take our bone folder and you've got the release paper there. So let's just smooth that into the foil. Make sure that adhesive transfers to your foil. Okay, now we're going to take the release paper off. And if you kind of peel it at an angle, just make sure that adhesive goes onto the foil. So if you peel it in an angle, it leaves the adhesive there on your foil. Do the second one. Careful not to tear your foil. Like I did. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. Get this last one off. There we go. Move those out of the way. Oops. Okay. And I have that little tiny tear I did there, so I'm just going to kind of make sure that that's covered over. Now, we're going to take our masking off comes right off flip it over so that the colored sides down on the foil and I want to put my moon that you can see see where I've got my mask moon there I'm gonna do it over the lighter part there there we go so now you're going to just press that window sheet nice and firmly into there. You could use your um, bone folder, but what I would recommend is take that release sheet that doesn't have sticky on it from your double-sided adhesive and use that to smooth it. That way your bone folder won't scratch your window sheet. So we're just going to make sure that window sheet's on there nice and firm. And see, we kind of ended up with a little silver moon there. Now, I'm going to take a pair of scissors, and I'm just going to trim the foil away. Right along the window sheet. And I use an old pair of scissors, not my good snips, so that way I can clean off the blade of any sticky that might get on it. Okay. 
Oops. There we go. Okay, so now we have our um, our window sheets all ready. Now, this is where you could do any die cuts you wanted or anything like that. But we're going to use this full sheet just the way it is. Trim this. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that neat looking? I just love it. Now, my idea was, let's take our cat punch, and I've cut out the cat in black, okay? And in this month's paper pumpkin um, for uh, September came some really neat little, uh, like, stickers and labels and pumpkins and hats and cats and if you subscribe to paper pumpkin you know there's always extra pieces okay so i had a thought what i would do is take one of the hats so i got one of the hats i did trim the excess white off so i'm going to take a little hat here and i had where did it go i had a little pumpkin i wanted to add to it also to put right on the hat let's see where it went i tried to have everything ready for you guys before i started this but like i said it's been a while since i've done a video so bear with me here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of these little pumpkins I'll pop it out of here and i'm going to grab my tiny snips because I want to put the pumpkin on the hat. See there? It's going to be cute. So, but I don't want all this white. So I'm just going to fussy cut around that just a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Only because that white's just really going to stand out a little. But I'll also show you another thing you can do instead of uh, fussy cutting um, any of your die cuts that don't cut close enough for you. You know, sometimes I just like a really close cut. So let me, uh, let me trim this just a little more. Okay, so what you can do, see how you still have a little bit of white on there? Take a light marker. This one we got here. Let's do, this is just uh, balmy blue. And I'm just going to color a little bit around there, that little white that's showing. And it just makes it not as, as bold to show. See what I mean? So what I'm going to do is we're going to take, let's do a glue dot. Let me get my glue dots. Oh, looks like it's about time to order glue dots. But in the paper pumpkin kit, you always get um, glue dots and stuff for your projects. So you can always get them right out of there. So I'm just going to put a little glue dot on this pumpkin. And I'm going to put the little pumpkin on the hat. See there? Got a little pumpkin on the hat. And now let's put our hat on the cat. A Halloween cat with a hat. Put a little glue dot on there. And let's put our hat on the cat. What do you think? The cat sitting in the moon there. Now, what you can do is you've got this sheet, and 
we're going to bring out, bring our stamparatus. I use the stamparatus for this um, because you can always re-stamp an image. And especially when you're using your stays on because it seems to be kind of sticky. So let's, let's do this. Let's add something more to this. So let me grab, how about we add, I know I have one that's got some grass or something we can add a little, here we go. Let's take field of flowers. See a little grass here? So we're going to take the field of flowers, make sure. Now I'm stamping directly onto the window sheet. So what I want to do is I want to add some grass at the bottom of this image. Let's see how it sticks to your window sheet. Okay, so now this is where I would use Versamark on your um, stamp because it's photopolymer. Now you can heat emboss your images on here if you want to. It's not actually necessary, but you can. So I'm just going to ink that up really good with some stays on. And it looks like my image moved, my paper moved a little. And I'm just going to stamp that at the bottom there. And there you go. You have a little grassy bottom. I'm going to wipe that for a second and then uh, clean it off after after the video. So we move that aside. Okay. So now we got our little cat. Where do we want him? Do we want him right in the middle? We could just do him right in the middle there, or we can do him setting off to the side. Let's do that. So all I'm going to use for that is I'm just going to glue him straight down. So let's grab our glue. This is a first for me. I rarely will wing it on a card idea because I, I change my idea, my mind so often during a card. So I'm just going to glue him straight down. So we got our cat in a hat. Now let's add some some bats. Okay, these bats come from the Halloween magic dies and you got a set of three bats there so i'm just going to glue down some bats let's put one there i'm just going to do a few of them maybe add one over here Oops, got a little glue on there. Let's do one more. Let's put one. Where do we want it? Let's put it up here. Oops, kind of got him crooked there, didn't I? Okay. So now we got a couple bats. Maybe we should let's add some eyes to those bats. Oops, my one bat doesn't want to stay there. So I'm just using a white gel pen and I'm just gonna touch and make a couple little eyes on those. There we go, we've got a couple eyes. 
Now, all I used was a Knight of Navy card base because I thought that dark blue would kind of pull out. Okay. So, I'm going to use glue on this. You could use your favorite adhesive here. I'm sure the stamp and seal would work. Always make sure you get your edges really good, though. You don't want the sides of your card popping up. So, I'm just going to attach that right there. You could step this up as much as you would want to. But, I think all I did... Because I found a little, let's do, how about, this too is the, one of the sentiments that came in the paper pumpkin this month. It came with all these um, adorable, this hat is just to die for, a pumpkin, a little faces, and some cute little um, greetings. And I'm using one of the tags right from the kit. So this is kind of like a, uh, the, uh paper pumpkin alternative I guess kind of like that just like that so you know what I want to do though is I want to have this one edge straight so all I'm going to do is trim that tag off should we put it there what do you think move it down we could put it now we kind of want I think I want it down and uh, you could use dimensionals here if you wanted, anything you want. I'm just going to glue it right down. And let's put it about, let's put it right above the grass there, right to the edge. And there you go. You know what I think this needs? I think this needs some stars. So I'm not sure if these the white gel pen will show up or not. Let's see. No, it doesn't. So what we can do is let's grab our let's grab the pearl, your white pearl embellishments. Let's try that. Let me grab my take your pick tool. Where is my take your pick? Hold on, you right there. So I'm just gonna take my take your pick tool. Let's see how this looks with little tiny pearls. Maybe we'll just add some pearls to work as stars. There you go. Now you have a starry sky with some pearls. Adds a little dimension. And you have your black cat on stained glass. What do you think? You could uh, accent this to be a little bit more defined. You can do anything with this. But make sure if you have any scraps left to... Uh, I had some scraps left when I did the uh, sunflower. So you know what I did? I stamped some greetings and die cut them. Now I have these fun little stained glass greetings I can use on other cards. You could even do something like that on here. That might look cute right there, even better than the other label. I might change that. But there you go. That's basically the technique. And it's very versatile. So this one, I colored the foil. And I also colored the back side of the window sheet. I should have put a moon here, but you'll see that you could create several different colors by overlaying them together. This one, I colored the foil yellow, and then I masked my moon on the window sheet, and then colored the orange onto the window sheet, which gave me the yellow moon. So there you go. It's it's that simple. It's a fun little technique. Like I said, I would probably try to do some fall leaves. 
Um, I'm waiting for my uh, Gather Together bundle to come because I couldn't find mine. And I'm going to do some fall leaves with this technique. It's quick. It's easy. It's, it's super pretty. Look at that. Well, anyway, that is my technique for the day. And I appreciate you joining me. Please keep um, go ahead and follow the blog hop to be entered to win a prize and i hope you have a very happy stampin day thank you for joining me bye bye